Our social, spatial and economic challenges formulated by the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals are important drivers for innovation. Our driver for the Ithaca project is good health and well-being. Maneuvering around many different policies from local to international level has almost become a form of art. Streamlining policies from an integral point of view is our common ambition. Traditionally, innovation was industry-driven. We evolved into an experienced society, which was pretty much top-down. Over the last years, this has evolved into a knowledge society that is mainly platform-driven. North Brabant is now moving towards a transformation society. A society in which we do not only share experiences and knowledge, but a society in which we also implement experiments in daily life on a local scale with a global impact. We aim to connect and strengthen local initiatives. We also aim to expand these initiatives and build stronger regional and inter-regional ecosystems for the benefit of European citizens. Innovation is organized in top clusters with international potential. One of these clusters is Smart Health. Smart Health doesn't only concern healthcare, but also viability, vitality and healthy aging. Quadruple helix cooperation between government, education, research, business and citizens is initiated and facilitated. Many local partners are operating successfully within our regional ecosystem. North Brabant is a frontrunner in using a wide range of instruments to facilitate cooperation and innovation, from living labs and testing grounds to public and private campuses. North Brabant has effectively succeeded in involving end-users and to equally participate in all phases of the innovation cycle. While gaining experience, we started connecting the initiatives with each other and with other innovation clusters and sectors such as the creative industry, smart mobility or energy transition. Despite all our efforts, refinement and implementation of regional policies and scaling up smart health initiatives is still challenging. How can end-users be involved in policy development? How should short-term organizational interests and friction costs within the partnership be dealt with? How can crossovers between sectors be created? <laughs>